Hi folks, John Sansom, and today I'm going to show you how you can use the Liquify tool in a non-destructive fashion by using smart objects in Photoshop. Let's get into it. Here you can see I've got a fashion test image that I shot recently and I've already done all of my retouching step. I've done the cleanup, dodge and burn, contouring, skin work, and even some color grading at the end there. The final thing that I want to do is, you can see on the right hand side of the jacket, we've got this unfortunate protrusion. It's just kind of sticking out, the eye is drawn to this area of the image. It's a perfect use case for using Liquify to remove the distraction. Now, the typical way to work with Liquify is to actually take a copy of all of your layers and then combine them into a stamp visible layer. Now, the downside of doing this is all of the changes are baked into that one layer. So if we go ahead and do the liquify and suddenly decide that afterwards, actually, damn it, we should have done some more dodging and burning, we can go back and do that within our dodging and burning layers or make additional cleaning changes and things like that but we'll have to create another stamp visible layer and then go ahead and do our liquify again so this means that we're working in a destructive fashion in our workflow and it's not a desirable way to be doing things a much better approach to actually working in a non-destructive fashion is to use a smart object the way that we go about doing this is remove the lock on the background layer and we want to group all of our work steps together. So that's Control G on Windows, Command G on a Mac. And we'll just create a new folder. Now if we right click that folder and go convert to smart object, we're now able to go ahead and apply our liquify directly onto the smart object. So I'm just going to use the forward warp tool here and just, I'm not going to be perfect. This is just for demonstration purposes. We'll just clean this up slightly. That'll do, I think. You get the idea. And then you can just simply turn your liquefier on and off. As you can see, there's actually this sort of black streak here. I think it's just the edge of the jacket. It just seems to be protruding on, on this side of the subject. So it'd be great if we could actually go in and actually you know, edit this area of the image without compromising the liquify. And that's what smart objects will allow you to do. So if we just dip, double click our retouching layer, it'll open up a new window and all of our subcomponents are in here. So I can now go in here and actually just quickly clean up this part of the jacket. I'm just gonna use the clone tool here and actually just paint it in very crudely, just for the sake of demonstration. You get the idea. Just eliminate that unfortunate edge. Just tidy that up a bit on this side. Oops. There we go, that'll do. Okay, cool. And then if we save our changes and then close out. And then we'll come back into our smart object. And you can see that your changes have persisted and the liquify is still applied onto the smart object. So there you have it. Using smart objects is a great way for you to edit your images in a non-destructive fashion. There's a quick tip for you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, Hit that like button and click subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.